Hey there friends, in this vid I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to recover from anxiety and a lot of the symptoms that come along with it, like panic attacks or depersonalization, derealization, heart palpitations and all the other number of things that you're going through. I've gone through this myself and I have recovered and every day I help other people recover from their anxiety. So I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. One of the things that you're going through and everybody goes through when they are recovering from this is to not realize that things will change. And you can say this about anything, even if it isn't anxiety. For example, if you're really nervous about having to do something after you've done that thing, you're no longer nervous. If you're going through a breakup and you're incredibly heartbroken and you feel like you'll never love again, give it a bit of time and then you love again. You know, everything is changing. But the thing is, right, is that when you're in the moment, when you're in the thick of it and things are at their worst and at, you're at your lowest, you just can't even fathom that. So you have to remind yourself that things will change. And I want you right now to say to yourself, things are going to change. Things are going to get better because they are, trust me, they did for me and they have for everyone that I've helped as well. The next thing that you can do to recover from your anxiety is to realize the cycle that you're in and recognize the bad habits that you are doing. It's through your own actions, partly that has led you to where you are right now. So look at your bad habits. It's not that it's not rocket science. What are you doing? Are you avoiding going out because you think it's going to make you worse? That's not a great thing to do because you're just reinforcing that everything is bad and you have to avoid it all. But the way out of this is to do the things that you that your mind is screaming at you not to do. What bad habits are you doing right now? Think about why are you doing them? Probably the answer is safety. And then think about other ways that you can be safe. Something amazing happens when you do this because even if you think that these things are scary, your mind's completely out of whack right now. You're just seeing everything is anxious. So of course you're going to think the worst case scenario if you go out or if you do this or if you do that. But if you actually do those things, what you're going to find is you're not even going to come anywhere close to your worst case scenario. And then the more you do it, the more evidence your mind is going to get that, oh, actually, this isn't scary. This isn't scary. This isn't scary. Hang on a minute. This hasn't been scary a hundred times. Maybe it isn't scary. Maybe I've just been telling myself. Maybe it's just the anxiety doing its thing and making me see everything that's as scary, but really it isn't. And that's the truth that you've got to find. And when you start to do this, when you start to go out, you're going to start to give your mind evidence of that truth that in fact, the world is just normal. Another big thing that you can do that you're forgetting and everybody forgets and I forgot as well is to be kind to yourself and to be patient. And if you just go easy on yourself, realize that it's okay to make mistakes. Realize that the recovery process is ups and downs and you can see progress and then maybe a few days later feel like you're back at square one again. It's just part of the process. So just remind yourself of that, that you're doing the best you can. You're doing absolutely amazing. You are going to get through this. Things are going to change. You've also got to do your best to be patient with this as well. And I know that the world today, everyone expects everything instantly. You want to be healed yesterday. You don't want to wake a week. You don't want to wait a week or two weeks or three weeks, but recovery takes time. Think about how long it took you to get into this. And I'm not talking about that time you had drugs or that time you, you had the trigger event and something happened. That was just the straw that broke the camel's back. But if you really truly look back and be honest with yourself, you'll probably recognize that things were building up until that point. And that point was just what tipped you over the edge. And so it's going to take a little bit of time to come out of this. And that's okay. Any type of healing takes a little bit of time. Anything worth doing well and worth getting good at takes a little bit of time. You can't be good instantly. And so don't expect to be good instantly. If something doesn't work within a week, it doesn't matter. It's not meant to work within a week. It doesn't work within two weeks. It doesn't matter. Just keep going and keep going. And in the end, it will start to work. Trust me, I've seen it hundreds of times with the people that I help. I help people every single day with anxiety, with all the symptoms, with depersonalization and derealization. If you do want help to recover from this, 
then get in touch with me and let's have a chat about exactly what's going on with you. You can book a free discovery call with me. It's a very casual conversation just where we talk about what's happening and you can find the link to that in a pinned comment and the description. I'd love to have a chat with you and until next time, I'll see you in the next vid. Bye.